Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to English Mania. My name is Antonia Aramakara, and today we'll learn some English with an interview. We're going to watch Jimmy Fallon interview Ryan Reynolds. First, your job will be to answer five questions, and after that, to fill in the gaps. So here are the questions. In addition, take a look at the exercise with the gaps. If you have quite a high level of English, you can look through these sentences right now and fill in the gaps while watching the interview without subtitles. The last time we, we talked in this program, yeah. it was, uh, uh, we were talking about Detective Pikachu. Yeah. And I said to you, I go, oh my gosh. I go, Ryan, go, what's, what's up, man? What's going on? And you said to me, uh, not much. Not much, no. No, yeah. not much. It was great. It we had a fun a going talk. On. Yeah. It was really fun. And then after that, you went right to the premiere. Yep. And I got a Google alert. Uh, saying that uh, Blake is pregnant. Oh. And uh, on the red yeah. carpet. Look, nobody so, was more surprised than me, Jimmy. I got to tell you. No, but I, I said, what's up? Like, what's going on in your life? You said, not much. I, I was mean, like, not much. I know. What kids? I, I, mean, thought the, I thought the fact that I was wearing a denim vest would be all the rage. That would be all the news. <laughs> that was going to be but the then, news there. But then, but then Blake shows up uninvited, I might add. Oh, my goodness. That is and unbelievable. I thought she's just been pounding beer. And it turns oh out God. that she's like yeah, she's six months pregnant or something. <laughs> oh you know? Yeah. I got to get way more hands on at home. You thought, yeah. yeah. You thought it was going to be the denim vest. It wasn't. No, I thought that all. was going to be the lead story. But uh, that was going to be the big Google alert. I will tell you, though, because I thought, you, I thought you, you were trying to, there was no love for me. But I tell you who does have love for me. Your beautiful daughter, James. She's obsessed with who you. Who I love so much. I, oh dude, she's the cutest she, girl. J Jimmy Fallon is Shawn Mendes to my daughter. <laughs> like, legitimately. She gave me this drawing last time. She, she made that and drawing. And I kept it, yeah, hanging in my office. She made that drawing just for you. She, she's... when you walk in, though, you, she can't even look at you. She, like, hides in a corner, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's she, hilarious. Yeah. Because she gets shy. Oh, she loses her mind. Well, how does she the... know me, though? She doesn't, I, don't... I don't know, Jimmy. You tell me. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Like, no, Maybe she's up late at night watching the damn show. I, no, I but she, she's like obsessed with you, though. But she said, I love her so much. James, if you're watching, oh. it's go to bed. It's almost, yes. yeah, it's almost midnight now. Go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, she's actually, is she five? She is almost five. Almost yeah. five. Yeah, she's five. <laughs> she's so That's cute. Uh, yeah. But I heard that she said to you the words that no, no actor wants to hear oh, her God. kids say. Yeah, no. She said she wants to get into acting? She wants to be an actor. Yep. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. And I, no, I mean, like, it's a, I'm fine if you want to be an actor. Like, go ahead. Like, you know, in school, do like after school stuff like that. That's all fine. And every, right now, it's every day is like a recital. She's singing songs. She's doing little plays at home, all that stuff. But like, being a child actor in like movies and stuff, that's like a whole other ball of wax. I tried to ex I explained to her, I was like, look, you know, that's a huge burden on your nervous system. I mean, having to, you know, <laughs> process all of that attention and information and also you develop all of these like unhealthy coping mechanisms. And she just like looked at me like she didn't know what the <laughs> I was talking about. <laughs> and, and I was like, you know what, here's what's, what's cheaper and easier is like, let's just skip showbiz yeah. and enroll you right into cocaine. No, 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 that, no, no that's bad advice. That's bad advice. Showbiz is that's not good advice. for kids. No, it's not, no, it's it, not. I, I feel like we should know this by now, right? You, yes, but we should know this. But parents everywhere are like, yeah, let's just put them in a movie unsupervised. Yeah, no, no, well, yeah. yeah, it's great. I will say the business can get uh, dangerous and edgy because I will uh, have an example of something you recently did. You were in Brazil? Yeah, oh yeah, like Boy, days, a couple days ago, yeah. got some fans in Brazil, man. Oh yeah, my was, goodness. That was not, yeah, a so, barricade came down. I was kind of... Now take a look at the questions once again and try to answer them right now on the spot. And are you ready to fill in the gaps? Let's watch the video together, sentence by sentence, and check your answers. The last time we, we talked in this program, yeah. it was, uh, uh, we were talking about Detective Pikachu. Yeah. And I said to you, I go, oh my gosh. I go, Ryan, go, what's, what's up, man? What's going on? And you said to me, uh, not much. Not much, no? No, yeah. not much. It was great. It we had a fun, fun talk. Going on. Yeah. It was really fun. And then after that, you went right to the premiere. Yep. And I got a Google alert. And I get a Google alert. Alert. Uh, saying that uh, Blake is pregnant. Oh. Mm hmm. So the Google alert said that Blake was pregnant. That is the answer to the first question. Look, nobody so, was more surprised than me. Nobody was more surprised than me, Jimmy. So this is the answer to the second question. 
Ryan Reynolds was very surprised about the situation with Blake. So nobody was more surprised than him. And in addition, we can fill in the gap here. The first one. Nobody was more surprised than me. Jimmy, I gotta tell you. No, but I, I said, what's up? Like, what's going on in your life? You said, not much. I, I was mean, like, not much, I know. What kids? I, I, thought mean, the, I thought the fact that I was wearing a denim vest would be all the rage. I thought the fact that I was wearing a denim vest... Wearing a denim vest would be all the rage. Would be all the rage. I thought and I was wearing. This is the rules of sequence of tenses. So, if the first part of the sentence is in the past, usually the second one is supposed to be in the past as well. There is an exception, but we'll talk about it a bit later. And the phrase would be all the rage uh, means he thought that the reason why all the people around him were so surprised and expressed such vivid emotions was the fact that he was wearing a denim vest. That would be all the news. <laughs> that was going to be but the then, news there. But then, but then Blake shows up uninvited, I might add. <laughs> but then Blake shows up uninvited, I might add. Number three, I might add, like, I want to point out it's important, you know? Oh my goodness, that is and unbelievable. I thought she's just been pounding beer. <laughs> this is a funny expression. I thought she's just been pounding beer, so she has been drinking a lot of beer. It's a very colloquial expression, and we put it in the gap as well. Four. However, notice that in the video, Ryan says, I thought she's just been pounding beer. The first part of the sentence is in the past, and the second part of the sentence is also supposed to be in the past. There is one exception. When the second part of the sentence is about the fact which is still true in the moment of speaking, then we can use present tense. Like, if Blake was still pounding beer when Ryan said that sentence, so at that moment she was still pounding the ear. Then it could be possible for Ryan to use present perfect continuous. But I don't think that this is the case and it would be better to use past perfect continuous here. I thought she'd just been pounding beer. That would be grammatically correct. Here. And it turns oh out God. that she's like yeah, she's six months pregnant or something, <laughs> oh you know. Yeah, I gotta get way more hands-on at home. Use I gotta get way more hands-on at home, which means that he wants to be in charge at home. He wants to get more control over things at home. At home. You thought, yeah. yeah. You thought it was gonna be the denim vest. It wasn't. No, I at thought all. that was gonna be the lead story, but uh, that was gonna be the big Google alert. I will tell you though, because I thought you, I thought you, you were trying to. There was no love for me, but I tell you who does have love for me: your beautiful daughter, James. She's obsessed with who you. I She's obsessed with you. So we can answer the question number three. Ryan's daughter loves Jimmy Fallon. She's obsessed with him. And we can also fill in the gap, number five. She's obsessed with you. By the way, take a look at the video. We should say she's obsessed with you or she is obsessed with you. Be careful. Who you. I love so much. I, oh dude, she's the cutest she, girl. She, Jimmy Fallon is Shawn Mendes to my daughter. Shawn Mendes is a Canadian singer. <laughs> like, legitimately. She gave me this drawing last time. She, did, she made that and drawing. And I kept it, yeah, hanging in my office. She made that drawing just for you. She, she's, when you walk in, though, you, she can't even look at you. She, like, hides in a corner, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's she, hilarious. She, yeah. She gets shy. Oh, she loses her mind. Well, how does she the, know me, though? She I, I don't know, Jimmy. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know, Jimmy, you tell me, means that you know better than me. You should know that. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe That's... she's up late at night watching the damn show. I no, but she... She's like obsessed with you, though. But she said, I love her so much. James, if you're watching, oh. it's go to bed. It's almost, yes. yeah, it's almost midnight now. Go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, she's actually, oh. is she five? She is almost five. Almost yeah. five. Yeah, she's been five. She's so cute. Uh, yeah. But I heard that she said to you the words that no no actor wants to hear oh, her God. kids say. Yeah. She said to you the words that no actor wants to hear his kids say. And what are the words? 
No. She said she wants to get into acting? She said she wants to get into acting. Wow. So those are the words. This is the answer to the question number four. So the words are, I want to get into acting or I want to become an actor. She wants to get into acting. To start doing something, to get into something. She said she wants to get into acting. The first part of the sentence is in the past. But as long as James still wants to get into acting, when Ryan and Jimmy are discussing this issue, then it is possible to use the second part of the sentence in present simple. Because the information described in the second part of the sentence is still true in the moment of speaking. She wants to be an actor. Yep. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. And I, no, I mean, like, it's a, I'm fine if you want to be an actor. Like, go ahead. Like, you know, in school, do like after school stuff like that. That's all fine. And every, right now, it's every day is like a recital. She's singing songs. She's singing songs. Songs. She's doing little plays at home. She's doing little plays at home. Seven. She's singing songs. She's doing little plays at home. And the fact why they use present continuous here is that Ryan wants to emphasize that she's doing it all that time. But it doesn't mean that she's singing right now at this particular moment. But we say that she's doing it around now. Home, all that stuff. But like being a child actor in like movies and stuff, that's like a whole other ball of wax. But being a child actor in movies and stuff, that's a whole other ball of wax. Ball of wax. A ball of wax or a whole ball of wax means everything including all details, parts relating to a particular matter. So the whole package, the whole ball of wax. I tried to explain to her, I was like, look, you know, that's a huge burden on your nervous system. And here, Ryan gives the reasons why acting is not good for kids. That's a huge burden on your nervous system. Um, I mean, having to, you know, process all of that attention and information, and also you develop all of these, like, unhealthy coping mechanisms. The child could develop unhealthy coping mechanisms. The answer to the question number five. And she just, like, looked at me like she didn't know what the I was talking about. <laughs> Looked at me like she didn't know. She looked at me like she didn't know what I was talking about. Here, Ryan said it 100% correctly. Well done, Ryan. So we say, and she just looked at me like she didn't know what I was talking about. I was in the process of talking about something, and she looked at me, and she didn't know these two actions are just facts. We do not emphasize that those actions are in progress. And I was talking about, I was in the process of talking. This is a continuous action. That's why we use it in past continuous. But Showbiz is not good for kids. No, it's not, no, it's it, not. I, I feel like we should know this by now, right? So the gap number nine, I feel like we should know this by now. Okay, that's it. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. See you in my next video. Happy English practice. Bye.